doesn't mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Second down following the run. They come out here in the eye. Back to the ground. This time it's Martin. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He lost two there. And it's third down. There's so many things that go into playing the position of linebacker. Some of them are actually subtle. Doing the drill work that you do all the time in practice and carrying it over to the game. Get rid of blockers and get to the ball carrier and knock him down for a loss. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. On third down, Winston. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Back now in Tampa. And we've got a dandy here. One-point game as we begin the fourth. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And Aguayo's kick is good. And the lead grows to four. It's 11 to seven. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> and Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily... The coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Call it a pickup of seven, and it's a second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. They go play action for Lacey. Now Rodgers. And Rodgers has it over on the right side. And he gets this down deep into Tampa Bay territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 45 yards. And now a first down following that long game. Rodgers now on first down. Eddie Lacy, the one he was trying to get it to. And that'll make it second and 10. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Off the play fake to Lacey here. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Jared Cook, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Packers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fairly short kick, taken at the 14 here. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Right. Yeah. Get on one, Ready. 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 
Winston now to throw on first down. They set up the screen to Martin. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Second down now after the pass completion. to the 43-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Now the offense lining up first and 10. One receiver to the left is Evans. Jameis to throw it. Escaping the... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Clay Matthews coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss of seven. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. Winston. Left side complete. Safarian Jenkins. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Call it a gain of three. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Third and long for Winston. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. On the return, it's high. Fighting through. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15, and the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Four down, four down. Three down. Now Rodgers will handle Lacey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They'll get 17 yards there. And the Packers are going to have a first down. They run it again with Lacey. And he'll loop. And now the Bucs deciding to take a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Rodgers looking to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. on the carry and that's going to bring up fourth down and that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut and he's a guy that has some height to him so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash makes it a lot easier to stay upright see the field and make a run as we just saw there and a nice job here to down this one right on the five yard line and Tampa Bay trots out there now. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Goes underneath to Martin. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. And the offense moving quickly to the line. He'll look to throw. 
And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the Michigan man, Jake Ryan. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Only one timeout defensively, so this should just be a simple kneel down. I agree totally. I looked at my time management chart. It says, take a knee, victory formation. They just have one timeout left. And that should be all, all she wrote. By the way, it's a good thing you can read that because nobody else can. <laughs> not with my chicken scratch. Not at all. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. They'll run. This is Lacey. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two score again. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now the Packers get set to go. The clock cannot be stopped here. Defense can't do anything. So kneel it down, take it home. No doubt about it. It's what you practice for in winning situations each and every week. Victory formation. Take a knee and go on into the locker room and celebrate. We'll call it a victory. Rodgers with a give. It's Lacey. Evades the tackler and now some space. And Eddie Lacey, see you later. And he finally goes down. 23-yard line. All right, Charles, so you win the game. Not only do you get the W in the left-hand column, you get some momentum for the coming week. Now when you go into the week and you're telling the guys what mistakes have to be corrected, what we have to do to win going forward, you have their full attention. They're excited, they're happy, and they know if they can build that momentum, they can ultimately achieve all their goals. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Tampa.